Good morning. Just finished a workout. Got day started. Well, it's 25 to 1, so I wasn't really day started. Um, we kind of stepped in because we went out last night. We just went to the beach and chilled. It was really fun. But uh, workout done. Gonna have a few places to go to today. Now it's time to shower and get some lunch. Um, I went to Greece on holiday that made a video, I'll like link it up here um, and I got my first tattoo so it was this little heart tattoo you can kind of see it there I always had an idea of getting that there and, and like I wanted it for ages so I got it when I was in Greece so I like the idea of kind of getting tattoos in different places like not just in Ireland like so they kind of have a little bit of a story to them because they're in from a different country so when, when I was in Chicago I uh, tried to go get a tattoo on a the one that I wanted it was like a quote like just on like my forearm and it was like really it was like $200 it was so expensive so after that I was kind of like no didn't bother getting one when I was in Chicago then ever since then I've kind of been like yeah I want to get another tattoo I want to get another one but I never bothered to go anywhere in Dublin last Christmas I actually got Caitlin um, a tattoo voucher for her first tattoo so we're gonna probably do it off by the end of this year the other day me and Danny went to play mini golf and it was finished like earlier than we thought we would we we're like what do you want to do and I was like do you want to just go to that tattoo parlor across the street? And we were like, yeah, so I got another tattoo. So it's a teacup, you probably can't, it's like, I can't really bend my arm that way to show you the angle, but uh, it's a teacup. And the reason why I got it was because I love tea. And every time I have a cup of tea, I don't like it being like really, really roast and like scalding hot. And I always sit down and let it cool, and then I forget about it and it goes cold. And like, I literally say all the time, like, oh my tea, oh my tea. I literally forget all the time. Like, people are always like, did you drink your tea? Did you drink your tea? So I always forget. So I got a little teacup to remind me. And I got it here, like, under my watch band, because when I want to look at my watch, I have to turn my wrist to, like, raise it. So if I'm going to look at what time it is, I'll have to look at my wrist and then, like, wake my watch. So that way I'll be like, oh yeah, my cup of tea. So that was the reason. It's kind of like a like a little quirky little thing, like it's nothing serious or whatever. But yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's still kind of healing now, so it's peeling a little bit. 
and it wasn't actually too expensive but Danny actually bought it for me for my birthday so it was that was cute um I was gonna buy it myself but then he was just like no I'll get it for your birthday so whatever thank you Danny so yeah tattoo number two um I'm definitely gonna get a few more like I like the little ones like my little heart like my little you can see the two of them there um yeah like I like having little tattoos and I like it wasn't that sore kind of more of like a burning sensation but I don't think I'd be able to do it for like seven hours like people do there's no way so tattoo number two in San Diego and tattoo number one in Greece so I'm hoping to get a few more in different places I go to only little ones though I don't want anything too big but they are quite addicting like even as soon as I got that when I walked out of the tattoo parlor I was like I want more but don't worry I'll be getting any more but hopefully in the next few years I can get a few more from all different places that I travel so that's I'm looking forward to it very warm it's like half five and it's like 22 degrees I'm just finished work and we got changed doing work because we're going to a Padres game it's the Padres which is San Diego's baseball team and um, super excited I've never been to a baseball game before tried to go to one in Chicago but it ended up being really expensive but this is like a J1 night so there's gonna be lots of Irish people there and it's gonna be a really good experience I'm excited I want to do the whole kind of like foam finger thing hot dog thing so it's fun so just going for my bus now, we've got to meet Danny. Um, it's only me and Danny going, everyone else, the tickets got sold out so they couldn't go, unfortunately. So it's just me and Danny going, so I'm gonna meet him now and then let's go play some more. baseball game was really fun and um, it was a good experience it was about mine and Danny's first time at a baseball game and uh, we tried to go to one when me and Ella were in Chicago but it was like really really expensive because it was the Cubs and I think they're good I don't know I'm not too I don't know much about baseball but anyway um, it was really fun there was like a, an area like that the Irish outreach program and um, reserved so it was all Irish people I went straight from work and so did Danny but everyone else who was there had been drinking in the pub beforehand so they were all really really drunk and we were sober and it was a little bit annoying but it was funny as well it would have been fun if like there was a bigger group of us like our housemates but they just couldn't go uh, they couldn't get a ticket they sold out but it was really really fun it was uh, I went like full tourist mode and like bought a cap and Danny bought a foam finger and um, it was a really fun experience we didn't say we stayed until like the seventh inning because uh, and there's nine all together I think because the Padres, the San Diego Padres, they were winning anyway and it was getting really cold uh, so we just decided to go. So before me and Danny came over here we had like a mission. We said that we were going to find a gym and join one like we didn't really care if it was going to cost us we kind of wanted to just take care of our health and um, luckily we actually have a gym in our complex that's free. It's quite small and there's not much, not many machines but it does the job. So we've been trying to go to the gym as much as possible because we're going to a wedding in September. My cousin Lorraine is getting married and I'm a bridesmaid and Danny's coming with me so it's kind of like our motivation is the wedding. It's been, not to it's been easier over here to be healthy than it was when I was in Chicago. I have a lot more money 
better resource we're in an apartment unlike my like room in Chicago that didn't really have a kitchen so we're trying to be as healthy as we can and work out as much as we can it's been tough because we work quite late like a lot of Danny's shifts are like half 12 to half nine so by the time he gets home or it's hard for him to go in the morning and for me I work 10 to 6 so I get home just after 7 and by the time I get home it's like really tiring but I'm trying to push myself I really want to do it the past like few weeks I haven't been first like two weeks I was like really good at it the past like last few weeks I haven't been that good I've gone twice I think in the past week which is okay I knew today that I wouldn't get to go to the gym because we're actually going to Vegas tomorrow so that's gonna be really fun so stay tuned for some of those vlogs so you'll probably notice like in many cities there's like the shared bikes uh, in New York they're the city bikes in Dublin they're I think there's seven up bikes now I don't know what uh, what sponsor is on them anymore Um, same in London there's like them all over the place so in San Diego and I think a lot of California probably other places as well there's the same kind of system where you go and you kind of like rent the bike except they're dockless bikes so they're just all parked on like the path like in random places like when I first got here I was like why are all these random bikes around but there's a little like lock on the back wheel so you can't just ride it you get an app on your phone and you just like scan the QR code and um, or type in the the reference number and you can then rent that bike and the lock like unlocks so it works over like Wi-Fi uh, it's pretty cool they're really fun so I done that today instead of getting the trolley home I got one of the shared bikes I got a line bike from Fashion Valley and cycled home because I knew I wasn't getting a workout in so I was like you know what I'm actually I'm gonna do it I'm gonna cycle it was really tough because there's only three gears on the bike so they're hard to push you're kind of pedaling a lot and not really getting anywhere so it's very tiring also they're kind of main roads that like there's bike lanes so it's it's fine it's, it's safe i actually I actually felt safer than i would have in dublin because you actually have a bike lane to yourself unlike in dublin when there it's a bike and a bus lane google maps told me it would take me about 20 minutes it took me about i'd say about half an hour just over half an hour because uh i was like really out of breath i hadn't cycled in god i haven't cycled in about two months um in the gym there's no bike there's like you know the i don't know what it's called you know the bike that's kind of like a lower bike you don't really sit up you kind of sit back anyway so i haven't really been cycling so i cycled that and it was tough but i've decided that's what i'm going to do in the days that i know i'm not going to the gym i'm going to cycle up one of those bikes home i get home about 10 15 minutes later than i would have if i got the trolley but that's my goal and i'm rambling on about this and putting it in the log because I want to stick to this plan and I really want to get in shape this summer and it's tough because we're we are partying and drinking a lot more than I have been in the past few months because of with like co like the final college deadlines coming up I wasn't going out and I was also saving money for coming over here so I haven't been drinking that much and I think my body might is like reacting not reacting but I don't want my body to react differently and uh, like take in all the sugar and that kind of thing anyway I'm gonna stop rambling on because I'm just literally top dog talking. Yeah, that's the goal. Wedding in September. I want to be really fit for it. I don't want to put on weight while I'm over here because it's really easy to do it out with all the different foods. We are trying out all the different things. We had Denny's the other day, which is a it's like a diner and it's like a franchise. We got like I actually ate so much food. It was really fun. You know, trying all different things. We're like In and Out Burger, Five Guys, uh, that kind of thing. So I'm not restricting myself. I'm still gonna have the American stuff. I've been eating Sour Patch Kids and Swedish Fish, all that stuff, but I'm just gonna stick to a plan and keep going to the gym. And hopefully I'm in the shape that I want to be for the wedding in September. Because when I came back from Chicago, I didn't like the weight that I was. It was my 21st birthday and I just, I hate those photos now because I just put on so much weight while I was over there. And it is such a thing, it's like the J1 ton, I think it's called, because you just put on weight when you're on a J1. Enough rambling about exercise. I'm going to go finish up my last minute packing for Vegas. So I will see you in the next video. I wait to Vegas. I'm super excited. It's going to be so much fun. We're also going to the Grand Canyon. Okay, I'll see you. Bye.